This is the Sony ECM LV1 stereo leveling mic, and this is my new motor vlogging mic. Hey everyone, this is Joel once again, and welcome to another episode of Motor Gadget, wherein we talk about motor vlogging and motorcycle related gadgets. In today's video, we're going to talk about this uh, mic from Sony, which is the EC and LV1 Stereo Lover Game mic. So, wala nang unboxing because I already installed this mic on my helmet because I got uh, very excited with it. But if you are curious with what's in the box, it's basically just the mic itself that looks like this and the windscreen. Na, na cover sa mic niya. and the rest are just documentation and manual now if you guys don't know in the past i have my shared struggle of, of finding the best mode of vlogging mic up until i came across with my intercom which i use as a wireless mic on my insta 360 one rs camera now wala namang problema if i am using my intercom as my mic however i won't be able to use my intercom especially on group rides wherein importante ang communication and and that is the reason bakit uh, natin binigay itong mic because i wanted to have a dedicated mic for my action camera and be able to use my intercom for communication now let's talk about kung ano yung mga gusto ko sa mic na ito of course um this is a sony mic so expect Expected na yung quality ng audio niya. And also, it is a stereo mic. So, meron siyang, ang sound niya is meron left and right. And also, yung wire niya, hindi ganun kahaba. So, madali lang siyang itago. As a matter of fact, uh, hindi ko na siya kainailangan itago sa cheek pad. Uh, that, like the rest of the previous mics that I am using. Nilagay ko lang siya sa front side, sa main mount uh, side ng aking helmet. And that's it. And also, another thing that I really like about this is yung... 3.5 millimeter jack uh, plug niya is L-shaped na so perfect siya for my setup hindi siya kagaya ng iba na kailangan mo pag in-bend uh, yung wires niya now given all that ang tanong ngayon kumusta naman ang audio quality if we are using it as our helmet mic for our moto vlogging now here are the videos that I made uh, using this mic Alright guys, so andito tayo sa labas uh, para subukan tong Sony ECM LV1 Lavalier and we are using a Rio RX1 helmet This is not the quietest helmet guys, kasi ang dami niyang vents and in fact, sa harap meron pa siyang vents sa harap pero nakaklose siya ngayon pero right now, uh, narinig ko yung wind noise um, unlike sa ibang mga full face helmet kasi ito natatanggal yung sa harap niya na uh, mouthpiece if you wanted to nagiging half face siya so wala siyang covers under the cheek that makes the helmet uh, quiet so, tingnan natin kung ano yung performance nito uh, mic natin at certain speeds so at this speed around this speed kumusta naman yung uh, quality ng ating audio uh, we're gonna go and try to be a little bit faster just to check kung ano yung performance niya at certain speeds uh, we're gonna try to see if we can go over 80 kilometers per hour and see kung kumusta yung speed uh, I mean kumusta yung sound natin at that speed okay we're clear okay we're now running at 100 plus Kamusta naman yung ating audio guys at this speed I, I have to focus on the road while doing this Okay, I think that's enough So ayan, uh, napanood nyo na ang performance ng mic nito on different kinds of situation and different speeds uh, while motor vlogging Now for me, I believe uh, so far this is the best uh, level year that I have ever use and also um, I'm still going to uh, be using my Insta360 from time to time my mic depending naman sa klase ng mga videos na ginagawa ko um, if I needed a dedicated level year or mic um, then I definitely will use this kasi even at 
uh, high speeds, clear pa rin, and usable pa rin yung audio niya for my videos. Now, if you are wondering about the price of this, I, I got this for around 1,400 pesos in Shopee. Now, that is not cheap. However, I think ko with its price and its quality naman na audio, I think that's just uh, fair. Um, I haven't used the more expensive uh, Purple Panda mic, which is quite popular for moto bloggers. Hindi ko alam kung anong performance nun. But with this one, I'm really happy as compared to those uh, cheaper mics that I have used before. And another thing is, siguro preference na lang. Because um, if I am using my intercom as my mic, uh, syempre, design siya for communication. So, nasusuppress niya yung mga background noise, yung wind noise, and all that. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya immersive. While this one, it allows those noise, those environments na marinig pa rin on your own. Audio. However, of course, that includes the wind noise. Like I said, uh, given the still usable pa rin yung audio, clear pa rin yung boses kapag nagsasalita ka, this is a mic that I would recommend for everyone. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have questions and suggestions, just comment down below. And once again, this is Joel. If you are interested in motorcycle-related content, travel, and gadgets, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I'll see you again on the next one.